In June, Attorney General Bill Schuette charged State Representative Brian Banks with felony charges for lying about his employment on an application for a $7,500 loan. After resigning from his position as State Representative to get a plea deal, Brian Banks faced Judge Michael Hathaway today. Um, it is the sentence of this court uh, that you are sentenced to time served, which as I understand it is one day in the Wayne County Jail. That is the sentence Brian Banks got. He pled guilty to a misdemeanor charge of filing financial false statements. The sentence he could have gotten? Life in prison. Banks, who is from Harper Woods, is a habitual offender with a criminal history for writing bad checks and credit card fraud. Still, he says he is a victim of dirty politics. You all know what this was about. I was a strong voice for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to continue to fight for the issues that matter most to our citizens. Banks' attorney says Michigan Attorney General Bill Schuette, who is a Republican, issued these charges on the last day before the statute of limitations ran out for political impact. He says this is a political witch hunt, not about justice. I want all of you to answer truthfully. Have you ever misrepresented something on a loan application? A lot of people would say, well, no, I don't lie on those loan applications. Look, what he did was wrong. There's no doubt about that. Banks' attorney says his point is that very few people are ever charged with this crime, especially when the loan is paid off, as in this case. The plea deal does not ban Banks from running for office again. Would you want to run again, Mr. Banks? No comment. In Detroit, oh, from Russell, sorry, 7 Action News.